new update is crazy, man. It, it, maybe this is because I didn't link my PSN, bro. Is that we're already in? The oh, I died. What? And na reinforce ako balik sa loob. Huh? What? What? Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm overdoing the PSN thing. I'll move on. I'll move on. Is it just me? Or have the crashes have been really crazy lately? Anyways, what is up, Helldivers? Today, we're going to be talking about the heavy machine gun. Again, I am here to tell you that there is absolutely nothing new with it. Except for the fact that they added a third-person reticle. That should have been there in the first place. Anywho, since I've been requested to do a redux vid on this weapon, it has been long overdue. I just got caught up with all the Sony drama. I've been using this weapon too much for my own good and thought that I might as well do a quick video on the new stuff or the new things that I discovered on how to be effective with this weapon. What? I think he just died. <laughs> I think he cr I think that charger just died from me trying to kill him that he just died from cringe, bro. <laughs> now, is this weapon any good? Absolutely not. It's terrible compared to other support weapons that can basically do what it does. But it is fun in some cases, and if you are like me, who just loves to mix it up from time to time, then this is an option that you can consider. The only change that I can think of is that you can now panic shoot enemies in front of you more, well, more accurately because of the added reticle, but it's not that big of a change. Me, personally, since I absolutely enjoy using this weapon, I know, I know. Why? Actually, I, I don't know why. Maybe I love pain? Who knows? Do I need help? Anyways, anyways, the glaring issue for me is that the recoil is absolutely bonkas. And that is coming from me, a mouse and keyboard player. And how do they expect controller players to do or use it effectively? I do not know. And if you ask me, this weapon needs a buff. It needs to have its recoil reduced and needs a tad bit more ammo. Maybe 25 more per magazine, it would do it solid. Or they could make it a heavy armor penetration weapon and reduce its damage just to balance it out. But that's just my thoughts. Let us know what you think. I've been using this against both factions and some of the things that I discovered is that you can do a lot of work if you maximize your rate of fire options. So if you want to deal with those heavy targets as quick as possible, adjust your rate of fire. Which I will show you in a minute. Like for the Terminids example, let's say the Charger. You really can't penetrate its armor, but what you can do is destroy the butt, where this weapon actually does a good job and destroys it fairly quickly. Once you do this, you can just run away and let it bleed to death. It sounds more cruel when I say it out loud, but fuck the bugs. For Titans, it actually kills it, but you need more ammo to do so. And with the Titan constantly moving around, doing those John Helldiver maneuvers to kill it is just not enough to do the job. But you can kill it though, it just needs more ammo. Against the bots, there's nothing really new about it. It still does the same job or the same thing. Except now it's just really satisfying to put down the factory striders. I don't know what it is about machine guns, but it makes you want to be heroic and sacrifice yourself. It's crazy. There are just a lot of times that whenever I see a factory strider, I just go in and go bananas. All in all, it's nothing too crazy. It's just another weapon that is not as strong as the others, but strong enough to hold its own and do the job. If you want to check out my review on the heavy machine gun, you can check out this video. I hope you found this video helpful and go and spread freedom, Helldiver.